Evening tubers, Kim Grimlock back for another Grimgram, and first off, as ever, a little bit of housekeeping. A few of you have requested a collection viewing, um, so you're going to get one, to be honest, because I'm a little bit tired and I haven't had time to do a proper Grimgram for a while. But I'm going to open this up. I'm going to open this up to anybody who wants to request any of the toys you see to be reviewed, within reason. The reason being that I might not be bothered. But if you do, just write something in the comments box at the bottom. Just let me know what you actually want to see. Because um, if you really want to see it, I'm happy to review it. Because, yeah, that's the kind of guy I am. Anyway, shall we have a look then, guys? And as we come out, we have my Masterpiece Collection. Couple of Skywarps. Oh, Takara, one Hasbro. Same with the Screamers. Get the big boys at the back. Yeah, Cron and Primus. Gotta love Planet Formers. Hilarious. And we'll go up to the Animated Collection. Uh, the main Autobot unit. Good old Prowl. And the Elite Guard. And if we come over the top, we can make out a few more of them. The Elite Guard. And you can have some Dinobots. Alright, do love animated, do love animated. And as we come down, there's my light switch, which is featured in a couple of videos so far. Oh, and my shadow. Hi. Um, and we're on to the start of my Classics Universe collection. I'm um, starting off with my other leaders. Uh, there's your Galvatron and your Cyclonus and, and his Armada. Um, and a few of the Revenge of the Fallen bits. I do keep bludgeoning in my universe. And we have an Edge on Squad Ponok and an Edge on Shock Blast, because we don't have Classics versions of them yet. Uh, there's a few more bits there. Kind of getting in my own shadow here, I don't realise. It's terrible camera work. And the classic Seekers, I cannot wait to get the last couple of those. Thank goodness Dirge has been announced. And that is the floor creaking, not my backside. A few more. A few more cons, a few more cons, a few more cons, a few more cons, a few more cons. Big con. A few more cons, a few more cons. And we come down to my Revenge of the Fallen shelf, which is uh, all, actually, yeah, all except for that pile of doo-doo. Um, all uh, part of the Kapow Toy Presents project. That, oh, and those two little guys, actually. I do love these guys. Oh, if anybody has any of these and they want to sell them to me, please let me know. I'm cheap, please, because, you know, I'm skin. I'm a Transformer collector. Never earn any money. Um, yeah, my Revenge of the Fallen collection and the PCCs. Core combiners and a couple of War for Cybertron figures. These are very nice. You, yeah, you'll be glad when you get them, guys. Coming across to my first crap shelf, the two two packs, and, and I have some legends. I have some sucky legends. Movie legends, terrible, terrible toys. And then we have my alternate collection. Now this is pretty much my pride and joy. Um, this is where I started collecting again, and shy of Swerve. I have an entire, every character represented in the alternates line, um, and I'm only missing Alert, Auto Rupa, and, uh, who is it, who is it, Alert, Auto Rupa, and, uh, I can't remember, oh, who the bloody hell is it, um, is it an asterisk, Kiss player, no, I really can't remember now. Oh, the blue prowl. The blue prowl that looks like Nightbeat. That's it, but he's not that important. But yeah, anyway, that's that's my pride and joy, really. I had so much to say about them as I panned around. Um, I started collecting with this guy in 2001. Four? 2003? About seven years ago, I think. But yeah, that's he started it all. It's his fault. It's his fault that you're seeing this. It's his fault that I do this now. And there's a boxed wheeljack, so I could never bother to unbox him. I've already broken one. And we go up and past into the Classics Universe. Autobots. Wonderful Drift. The Warbot Defender. This guy is awesome. A few more of them again. A Revenge of the Fallen figure in there. Sea Spray, but he looks so good as a Generation 1. Again, awesome, awesome figure. Just works so well with that armour on. Give you some more. Some more Classics Universe, a bit more Classics Universe. I've tried to do a bit of lighting here, so sorry if there's any glare. It's quite a bit of glare, in fact, in places. Um, they've got some Henke in there, of course, and there's another Energon there. There's Energon Wheeljack. Um, 
um, hidden away. A couple of Botcom figures hidden about the place as well. Um, quite disappointed with most of the Botcom stuff I own so far. It's kind of weird. Coming up, we then have a couple of out of place animated. My massive G1 collection. Yeah. And um, Nexus Prime. I finally managed to finish my Nexus Prime, but I am still missing Heat Waves. Bio card again. If anybody's got one, please. I, that's that would just finish him off nicely. But amazingly, a poseable Benadryl combiner, and I think he looks really nice, even if he does look like a pack of fruit pastels. And we'll finish coming up to animated cons. Now I'm desperate for the remainder of the Seekers to be released. I don't know about you guys, but you know the Seekers were such such good little figures. I know they've got their problems, but. Hugely posable, as proved by Skywarp there. One foot, people. One foot, balanced. Even those joints are loose because of piss ball QC. Yeah. I would love to finish them. I'd love to get the rest of the clones. Yeah, and we return to home base. So that's pretty much it, guys, actually, to be honest with you. Um, I could show you my comics, but, you know, are you really that interested in them? Oodles and oodles and Oodles of Transformers comics. Who would have thought that I've ever printed so many? This, this is, this is, this is Marvel G1. This is Marvel G1. 332 issues of it. Oh, man. And then we have some little magnets. Yeah, you don't even some more books. More books. Books. These are novels. These are novels, people. These belong into a library. They're novels and pocket digest, but novels, novels. They're terrible. So yeah, we'll finish off, shall we? Um, if you want to see any of these, any of them at all, I'm more than happy to actually do a review of them because I haven't done a proper review for a couple of weeks. I haven't really hit my stride again since coming back um, you know, a month or so ago and getting them, getting them cranked out a bit more regularly. So, as ever, this is King Grimlock saying uh, thanks for watching, guys. I know that's a good power toy sign off, isn't it? Oh well. I hope you enjoyed. Bye for now.